Hello stampers, welcome to Daily Dose of Stamping Therapy. It is Wednesday and I don't know where this week is going. It's got me all, um, all messed up. I feel like it's flying by, but I also feel like I still have time, right? And then I realize what day it is and it's absolutely crazy. So it is Wednesday already. Um, we are actually going to play a little fun game um, so I'm going to wait for you guys um, to get on, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to get something done that um, that I super need to get done so that I can send out more happy mail, because um, I'll be honest, it's actually been probably a good week, maybe almost a week and a half since I've sent out happy mail, and we're still in this crazy stay at home, so um, people still love getting mail, even if they're not stuck at home though. I know so many of you guys um, love getting mail. So friends, family, crazy neighbor, um, random stranger, pass out your cards and send out happy mail to anyone. Um, because, well, after all, it makes us all happy. So spread the love, spread the cheer. Um, so one of the things that I need to do is I need to stamp uh, my little name on the back of um, of my cards. So we're going to go through some cards uh, that I have made that I need to get the stamp on the back of them. And I'm going to let you guys rank them. So I'm going to hold up two cards. And I want you guys to pick which one you like. And then we'll rank that one with the next one. And we'll see what the favorite card is at the end. Of course, I know some of them are going to rank like equally or one is going to rank higher than a past one. Um, but we're just going to have fun with this. And we're going to see which one uh, we land with at the very end. So when you jump on, um, just know to say... Um, I don't know, I guess I'll say the names of them because I think left and right will probably confuse all of us because I'm flipped backwards, so your left is my right and and I'm not good with left and right anyway. So, <laughs> so we're going to get started with, let's see. I probably should just like randomly pick these, but okay. Plus, they're all like in plastic too. So, okay, so you guys let me know which card you prefer. Do you prefer the hearts or the watercolor girl? Girl in a field. Girl or hearts? Let me know which card you prefer the hearts or the girl in the field. And then that one will move forward, and the other one, I hate to say it, will get tossed aside, but <laughs> it's out. <laughs> so let me know which one you prefer. Do you prefer the hearts or the girl? And um, once we have a vote, the girl. So she's moving on. Hearts are out. Okay, so now we have... I feel like this one's going to be like a, a no-brainer. Okay, so now we have the girl. Oh, we have two for the girl. Awesome. Hey, Becky. Hey, Laura. So we now we have the girl, and we have this, whoops, fabulous card. And then, actually, this one I don't need to stamp on because on the back is where you would write your message. So, um, so we either have the girl... Or we have animals. That's what we'll go with. Animals or the girl. Who's staying in the race and who's getting tossed aside? We're still going with the girl? Okay. I will dig out another one. The girl or the animals? Still going with the girl, really? I'm so surprised on that. I thought for sure um, that the, the animals were gonna move on. I guess that would have been my vote. Although I do super love this girl. Is she, she's wearing the yellow dress. I have another one with a blue dress. Okay, so we have girl or balloons. It's gonna be funny if the girl ends up win winning this, all my comments are just gonna say girl, 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 girl. <laughs> 
So now we have the girl or the balloons. Cast your vote on which one you prefer and which one's gonna stay in the race and the other one will get tossed aside. So do you like the girl or the balloons? And I think you guys might be able to see those still here. I just drug that little thing off. The girl or the balloons? We're still sticking with the girl. Still sticking with the girl. Balloons tossed aside. Okay, so then this one we have tropical. So are we doing girl or tropical? Cast your vote for which one you prefer. Girl or the tropical one? Still sticking with the girl. Hi, Jeannie. Welcome. Boy, I I actually did not think that one of them would stick in. I kind of thought we would be like bouncing back and forth um, forever. I'm so impressed. And this one actually needs like a little white insert, but it doesn't look like I have one. Okay, so I think the girl is moving on. Ooh, we got tropical. Mmm. Okay, then let's do a three-way and see what we got. What about this one? Oh, we moved to tropical. Okay. Are we moving tropical? Are you guys all just desperate to go to a beach? <laughs> okay, we're going to toss the girl then. We're going girl and tropical. Okay, so now we have tropical and um, shoe. Tropical and shoe. Let me know which one your favorite is. This one doesn't want to stay up. Tropical or shoe? It looks like we are going tropical. Um, okay, here, this is a really pretty one. I'll try to make this difficult. Tropical or shoe? It looks like we're still tropical, I think. I hate that my comments don't like scroll automatically. Okay, so we're sticking with tropical. Which it's okay if you um, disagree with everyone else. Give a shout out to that card if you still love it. Um, because that's okay. We all like something different. Um, which is perfectly fine. Um, I actually had someone say to me that they didn't like the May Paper Pumpkin. Um, and like I felt like it kind of broke my heart. But I totally get it. Some people just like different things. And that's perfectly fine. Okay, so now we have... Wait, oh. I've tossed the tropical. Nope, we're tossing the shoe. Okay, so now we have tropical or um, Paris. We'll just call it. I was like, I don't really want to make you guys type out Eiffel Tower. Um, so we have tropical or Paris. Let me know which one you prefer, which one is going on to the next round. Tropical or Paris. Flowers, is that the Paris one? I think so, probably, because I don't know that there's flowers on both of them. Paris, okay. So are we going Paris now? Is Tropical out? If you're just joining in for Daily Dose of Stamping Therapy, I am going through some of my cards and preparing them for sending out for Happy Mail and showing them to you guys so that you can enjoy the fabulous inspiration as well as vote on your favorite card and we'll see what we have in the end. So let me know, do you prefer Paris or the tropical one? It looks like Paris is winning, tropical is out. You know what I'm going to do though? I'm gonna set all the winning ones off to the side so we had um, the girl and the tropical last for a really long time. Um, so then we'll like go through all the favorites at the end. Okay, so now we have Paris or music. Which one do you prefer? Do you guys like music? I think music is like so uplifting, emotional, fabulous, mood lifting. It's like the universal language. And while I do not have a single musical bone in my body, 
Um, I love to belt it out and sing and be crazy and all of that. So, um, so yeah, anytime uh, you need like a mood lifter or something, listen to something, whether it makes you cry or laugh. Um, I feel like it's still like therapeutic to be able to listen to music. Oh, do we have a battle going on? Music, Paris. Come on, we need a tiebreaker. We have equals now. You guys can keep voting. And I'm going to pick out another card. You love music, but you love the Paris card. I know, I love the bling on that Paris card. It's so gorgeous. Okay, well then we'll add in another one and we'll do bumblebees. What do we think about the bumblebees? So now we have music, Paris, or bumblebee. Feel free to vote for any of them. Um, and we'll, we'll pass through and just keep some together until we get a tiebreaker. Here's another one, um, like that same one in the very beginning that lost. But I have a second one in the stash, so I thought I would share it again. Bees. Oh, now we're going bees. Paris and the uh, music just got bumped. Okay. So the, okay, I guess we'll keep that one up. Maybe keep that one up. So now we have bees and how about a little raccoon? What do you guys think about this little guy? So now we'll put the animals up against each other. Bees or raccoon? Which one do you prefer? Bees or the little raccoon? Are we still going bees? Oh, this is so interesting to see what you guys like. I love it. I usually ask at my classes um, what card everybody liked the best because I find it so interesting how like my favorite is different from everyone else's. Um, a lot of times I'll ask my husband um, which card his favorite is and it's actually a good thing if his favorite is not the same as mine because then I feel like that means I'm reaching a broader um, audience and that means I'm going to like I'm going to make everybody happy, although that's never the case. Um, <laughs> you'll never make everybody happy, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, then it kind of like it fits different people's um, perspective of what they like. Cam says B. Oh, what a sweetie. Hi, Cam. Okay, so the bees are staying. The raccoon is out. So now we have the bees or the poppy. So there is a picture of the poppy. If you're just joining in, welcome to Wednesday's Daily Dose of Stamping Therapy. We are checking out fabulous card samples um, and uh, preparing them to be sent out for happy mail. And I'm showing them off to you guys and we're voting on our favorites. So we're sort of um, doing a tournament style or whatever you want to call it um, to see what our favorite card is. So we have the bee or the poppy or the bee. And let me know which one your favorite is. The flower. Okay, so you're liking the poppy. The bee might be out. Is the bee out? Hi, Carolyn. Welcome. I'm so excited to see so many of you guys. On this rainy day, it makes my day for sure. Um, okay, oh, we have bees and flowers. Okay, we need a tiebreaker. Somebody needs to vote. Which one is it? Is it the bee or the poppy or flower? Whichever one. So we need another vote on which one you guys like. What's it gonna be? <laughs> What's it going to be? The bee. <laughs> Sorry, I crack myself up. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to set them both here, and we're going to add in this one. This is Hugs, Prayers, and Love, so we're going to call this one Hugs. Flowers. Okay, so the flower is in, and the bees are out. 
The B is going to go in the winning pile, though. So now we're at hugs or poppy. Hugs or poppy. Which one is it going to be? Oh, I feel like that one never really focused. Let me hold it here a little bit longer. This one's an awesome card for, hi, Karen, welcome, uh, for like thinking of you or a sympathy or something like that. Very soft, very, um, I don't know, thoughtful and soft. Soft is, for some reason, the greeting I keep wanting to go with. Okay, so we're voting on our favorite card and um, pairing them all together. So let me know, do you prefer the poppy or the hugs, which is this one? It looks like we're going poppy. I can't get this one out of the plastic. Okay, the poppy wins. Hugs is out. The next one is garden. Look at that little kitty. Isn't he adorable? So this one we're going to call the garden. And the little gates actually open with the little kitty on there. And the background has that fabulous gray brick. So poppy or garden. You guys are loving the poppies, which I should know because, um, you know, the poppy stamps and framelits and all of that have been so super popular. Poppy or garden. Did I sell you guys all on um, the cute little kitty in the opening gate? Got to make sure my comments are scrolling. Right now they are. I don't know. It's always hit or miss. So, okay, garden is in. Poppy is out. Okay, garden or um, we're going to go shoe again. So this one's got that fun perfume and, um, and high-heeled shoes. So we have the garden or the shoe. In the beginning it was girl, girl, girl. Um, so we might just keep coming back to a shoe. Um, let's go with a masculine card next. Garden, are we still going garden? Okay, so we're sticking with the garden. The shoe is out. Next one is golf. So this is a cute... Um, it's a more masculine card, but there are definitely women who play um, who play golf, so it doesn't have to be, um, but it does have those masculine colors. Um, you could also, if you have a father who plays golf, um, then this would be a great Father's Day card too. So we have the garden or the golf, and let's see. Garden or golf? Looks like we might still have garden going. Garden or golf? The vote is garden, I think. Golf is out. Okay, so now we have a fishy. This uses the umbrella punch. So this fun little fish is little punch art. Um, which if you haven't seen my blog today, I know I haven't blogged in what seems like forever um, because I've been doing this and been busy with a lot of other projects, uh, but I wanted to blog Claire's uh, Elmo birthday card. Um, so I did that with punch art as well with circles and um, actually in all circles, circles and a scallop circle. So now we have the garden or the goldfish. Um, still sticking with the garden? Garden? Okay. Ah, it's falling off. Can you believe that Claire is going to be two tomorrow? My mind is blown. Where did time go? I was in labor all day today. Two years ago. That's just, it's crazy. Last night when we were getting ready to go to bed, I was like, oh, this is when my water broke. Um, so yeah, crazy. The fish, okay. Wait, I don't know. We need an, one more vote, garden or fish? Because I don't know how many of those gardens are from the last voting. Garden or fish? We need a vote, we need a vote. I bet Cam voted on the fishy. We'll have to get, Karen, get your um, girls in here to vote which one they like. 
Hi, Casey. Welcome to Daily Dose of Stamping Therapy. Welcome to all of you guys. Give me a shout out if you're just jumping on. We are going through cards, preparing them for Happy Mail, and I'm sharing them with all of you guys, and we're voting on our favorites. So um, if you're going through wondering what the heck is going on and why are the comments blowing up, um, it's because he did vote on the fish. Aw. So you have the vote between the garden, which um, is on like round seven or something, or the fishy. Fish? Okay, well that's two for the fish, so I think the garden is going away. So now we have fish, or this is an Easter card that I'm going to have to share um, next year. Um, but yeah, this one is tulips. Um, let's see, we'll go, we'll go chick. So fish or chick is, um, is the vote for this round. Fish or chick? Don't worry, garden will come back eventually um, because it'll be in like the winner's round. So fish or chick, which one is moving on to the next round and which one is getting tossed aside? Don't worry, all these cards are winners because they're all gonna go um, to someone and uh, while they make me happy and hopefully they make all of you guys happy, they will also make that person happy too. Oh, the chick, the chick is winning with flying colors. The fish is out. I don't even think the fish is going in the winner's circle because it only went one round. Okay, so now we have the baby. I was gonna say baby buggy, but, um, but so we have the baby or the chick. The baby or the chick. Here's another one of those um, Z fold cards with the animals. That one was already in, so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, and stamp it and press it on. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna write on the back. The chick. The chick is still winning. The baby is out. Is the baby out? The chick is still winning. Oh, the chick is a winner for sure. Maybe you guys can fight for who's gonna get this next year for Easter. Either that, or a lot of times whenever holidays are over, I end up like donating those cards because I don't wanna hold on to them for another year. So the next one up is friend. So the flower card with the greeting true friend. So we're gonna call this friend or chick. Friend or chick. This is so much fun. Oh, I'm really gonna mix things up because I'm gonna bring back in some past ones. Send you a picture of the chick card later. Will do. Where did the, oh, the chick is still here. I will set that one aside and, um, and let you get a picture of that, yeah. Friend, friend is winning, friend is winning. The chick is out. Karen, I will remember to take a picture for you. Now we're bringing back in Paris. Here is another Paris card. Do you guys like this one as much as the last one? So now it is friend or Paris. I do have lots of friends in Paris, but Paris, Illinois. I don't know that I know anybody in Paris, France. Not that I have anything against Paris, France. Friend, are we keeping the friend? Is the friend one staying friend, friend, friend? Oh yes, we love the friend card. Okay, Paris did not make it this, this go around. Okay, so now we're going to do lion. Do you guys like the lion as much as the chick and the fish? Or do we still like the, um, the friend? Your comments are delayed. I find a lot of the comments, like, they all of a sudden start popping through. And I also sometimes go back later, and I'm like, that person commented, and I didn't read it while I was talking. So I don't know if I miss it or what it is. Um, but, yeah, it, the comments are weird. Um, so don't don't be offended if, if I don't read your comments or say hello, because, um, like, sometimes the comments are crazy. So I love you all, um, and you guys are fabulous. And... Um, Friend, friend, friend. Oh, we're, we're still friending. Okay, that one's out. We're back to golf again. How much do we like golf? I like putt-putt golf. I'm not good by any stretch of the imagination. 
Although I'm pretty sure I won the last two times I played. So do we like the friend card or do we like the golf card? Friend or golf? I used to live on a golf course, but I, I still didn't play. I don't think I could play actual golf because I don't think I could swing it hard enough to get it anywhere close. Friend, we're sticking with the friend. Okay, what about the poppy card? Back to another poppy card. So now we have friend and poppy. Friend and poppy, which one is it going to be? Which one's moving on to the next round? Friend and Poppy. Boy, this friend card is lasting a lot longer than I thought. And it's actually so simple because it's designer paper with some ribbon and a punched out greeting. So the concept for this card is so easy. Friend, Poppy. Oh, we have a battle. We have a battle. Poppy. Oop, I think we're two, two poppies, one friend. Going once. Going twice, cast your vote, hurry, last chance, and which one did I say? Poppy, Poppy is going on. Poppy or, we're gonna go back to this one, shoes. We're not going back to it, but it's another sample using those shoes. Ooh, that one was a tough one. You guys were really, really intense on the Poppy or the, oh. Uh, this one's not staying up. Okay, so the poppy or the shoes? Are we sticking with the poppy? And now a friend one popped up. See, my comments are so delayed. I'm sorry. Poppy, are we sticking with the poppy? No shoes, no shoes. Shoes are out. What about tulips? Do you guys like tulips better than poppies? What do you guys think of this card? Tulips or poppies? This is so much fun. <laughs> I didn't know that this would be so fun. <laughs> I hope you guys are at least enjoying the, um, the fun ideas and getting inspired. It is a rainy day here in Illinois. So um, what better thing to do than pop in a movie and stamp all afternoon? Um, that's what I would love to do. Um, Claire does not agree with that. Ooh, Poppy Tulips, Poppy Tulips. Which one is it going to be? Another vote for the Tulips? No? Another vote for Poppy? Are the Tulips out? Going once, going twice, waiting. The Tulips are out. Now we're doing another Hugs. Do you guys like this Hugs card? Um, this one is using that same stamp set as before, um, but a different concept with it. A lot of these are from the Occasions mini catalog, so they use a lot of those same, um, same stamp sets. That's why you're seeing like some repeats of it. Um, so yeah, we have Hugs and the Poppy card. Hugs and Poppy. Here's another one. Oh no. I popped the greeting right off of one of the cards. Hugs or Poppy? Ooh, we got some hugs going. We got some hugs going. Ooh. Here was the other hugs card. So you can see. Um, but anyway, this one is just a second one that I went ahead and um, took out of the plastic and everything. Are we going hugs or poppy? It looks like we have a lot of hugs. So we're moving on with the hugs. Okay, so hugs or toucan. Hugs or the toucan from Birthday Bonanza. It makes me sad um, that this stamp set is retiring. Um, but I do have to say that I used it a lot. Um, so it's, it's fine. I used it enough to be able to say um, that we had a good run and I'm ready for a new one. So now we have toucan or hugs. Toucan or hugs.
two can hugs, hugs, hugs. Okay, so I think we're going hugs. So now we have the hugs or the birdie. We actually made this one here on a daily dose of stamping therapy. So um, if you want to go back and watch that one, it was probably like a week ago or more. Um, but I'm probably showing up something similar to a bird um, in the, the thumbnail so you can see that. So now we have hugs or birdie. Hugs or birdie. Hugs or birdie. This one I definitely need to have ready. It's a Father's Day. Oh, and I already stamped the back of it. Hugs or birdie. Which one is it going to be? And this is the card that the little greeting popped off. Hugs, 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 hugs. Okay, so I think we're good on, yep, hugs are moving on. The birdie is not. Okay, so now we have mountains. So this is a great nature card, great masculine card for a birthday or this one, which is Father's Day. Birds, birds, oh no. We have some bird lovers from that last one, but it did not make it on. Okay, so are we doing hugs or are we doing mountains? So Claire can hear me through the vents um, in her playroom and in her bedroom because that's what's directly above. And Brad says when I get on daily dose of stamping therapy, she presses her ear to the floor or will go to the vents and say, Mama. And I swear I just heard her like clear as day say, Mama. I don't know if you guys could hear it or not. Um, but yeah, sweetest thing. So we have, ooh, you guys, a lot of you guys ended up voting for the birds. Well, the birds didn't make it. So hugs or mountains? Hugs or mountains? Mountains. We have a vote for the mountains. Um, if you're just jumping on to Daily Dose of Stamping Therapy, welcome. It is Wednesday, in case you didn't know, because I don't really know what day it is. And we're just preparing cards for some happy mail and uh, voting on our favorites. Um, you have to leave for a doctor's appointment. Oh, tell your doctor that you're sorry that you're late, but you had to vote on Daily Dose of Stamping Therapy. And... It was therapy, so it's better for your heart and all of your mind, body, and soul, so you needed to stay. But anyway, I hope you guys have safe travels, Laura, um, and, um, and I hope your doctor's appointment goes well. <laughs> okay, so mountains or hugs, mountains or hugs, and then we're going to do one more, and then we're going to go back to all of the favorites, and we're going to, like, narrow it down. Mountains or hugs, going once, going twice. We have one vote for mountains, I think. Mountains or hugs? Anyone? Comments must be delayed. Maybe I need to scroll. You'll tell him. <laughs> I have um, some ladies at uh, a retirement village that we do a class, and one of the girls said she wouldn't be there the next month because she had an appointment with her cardiologist. And I said, will you tell him that this is better for your heart uh, than going to see him so um, that you won't be attending that appointment. She said uh, she would see what she could do. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she went to the appointment. <laughs> mountains or hugs? What is our vote? This one's hugs. This one's mountains. One more vote and then we're moving on. One more vote. Anybody, anybody? Also, I did put in the description box, whether it's up, down, or below, or wherever um, on your device, um, I did put a link to my blog, laurastamppad.com, so you can check it out and see the Elmo card for Claire. Um, but you can also sign up for my mailing list and get the card making cheat sheet uh, for free. So as soon as you sign up, um, then you will get that. Uh, my mailing list is just an email list that I send out emails um, once or twice a month, so it's nothing that I'm going to spam you like crazy, you know, daily or anything like that. Mountains. Okay, we're going mountains. Mountains or flowers. So this is kind of a cool concept card. Look how it's just that little front panel. So it's not actually like a full card. It's just a quarter sheet of cardstock and this fun little flap. 
So mountains are flowers. What, um, what is your final vote? Uh, and then we're gonna go back to the favorites. Mountains or flowers, which one is it going to be? I love, you guys know I love flowers and you guys know I love pink. So don't, don't let me down. Although these have only made it like one round so they probably won't go into the final round anyway. Um, but yeah, flowers. Okay, one more vote, let's look. Is it flowers or mountains? Flowers or mountains? If you guys vote mountains, we're gonna have like a tie of one to one, so it's gonna be crazy. So um, get your vote in, flowers, flowers. Oh yes, I love you guys. Okay, so let's go back to all of the favorites. I'm gonna move that ink pad. And now we're going to do which flower card do you prefer? Do you prefer the friend? flower card or it's your day. So friend or day with that fun little flap like that. The friend card, which is this one here, or it's your day. So day or friend. We're really going to like up the ante on this one. Friend or day is, is the next vote. And now we're gonna narrow it down into our favorite one. You want the measurements for the flower one, this one here? Sure. I will actually just do that right now um, while we're voting on friend or day. So the regular back, the Whisper White, is, um, is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then the layering, um, let's see, this is Melon Mambo, the layering Melon Mambo is four inches by five and a quarter. And then this fun little folded piece is eight and a half. That's a weird measurement by three and an eighth. Probably because um, it's just a smidge bigger than this rectangle, the die cut rectangle. So it is eight and a half by three and an eighth. Um, but anyway, you could always just do the eight and a half and then make it as wide as you need it based on um, whatever image you're doing. But it's got that die cut rectangle scallop. Um, so that's why it is that crazy measurement. Hi, Susan. Welcome. Okay, so everybody's voting for It's Your Day. Wow, you guys loved the friend one. Okay, so that one's out. So It's Your Day or The Garden? The garden with the kitty. If you're just jumping on to Daily Dose of Stamping Therapy, welcome. We are preparing cards for, um, for me to mail them out for Happy Mail. And I'm just showing them to all of you guys and we're voting on our favorites. And now these are like the favorites of the favorites. So we're actually narrowing it down to the absolute favorite card that we've seen today. So you're very welcome, Becky. Um, so we have It's Your Day or Day or The Garden. Day or Garden. Which one is it going to be to move on to the next round? Grace's Garden. Yes, that's the um, the stamp set that was used for this one. So what's our vote? Day. Oh, whoa. We're back and forth. Which one is it? Day, Garden, Day, Garden. I'm surprised you guys loved the Garden one. Do you like that fun concept or do you just like these cool flowers? Day it is. Okay, so is it day or tropical? You guys loved the tropical one. Is it day or tropical? Which one is, is your favorite? Also, if you want to like just shout out what you're having for dinner, because that's what we always do on Daily Dose of Stamping Therapy. Um, tonight we were having um, like homemade Chinese. We used teriyaki sauce and, and rice and chicken and all of that. Ooh, day tropical. Oh no, we have a battle. Which one is it going to be? We need more comments. Day or tropical? Tropical, tropical. Okay, we have two tropical. Oh, three tropicals. Day is out. You guys love the tropical. Okay, um, tropical or bumblebee? Tropical or the bumblebee? 
It's good. I got you, Carolyn. As long as it's got half of the letters there, I'm like, yep, I saw it. <laughs> I'm used to that. Um, me and Brad, a lot of times we're like filling in each other's sentences and I'm like, you know, that thing or whatever it might be. So yeah, I kind of, I got that. A chef salad? Now you're killing us. <laughs> I know these are like the best of the best. So tropical or the bumblebee? Which one is it going to be? Tropical. Tropical is going to move on. Is tropical moving on? One more vote. Let's wait for it. Oh, tropical's moving on. Okay. Tropical or the poppy? There's actually two poppies in this. Um, there's two poppies and two of that one designer paper. Oh, now all the B votes come in. Chicken, cutlets, and mashed potatoes. Yum. That sounds amazing. Ooh, there was a lot of votes for the B that just now came in. So now we're at tropical or the poppy. Tropical or the poppy. Half of the time, it's like, I know, I know there's no, like, final stakes in this crazy game that we're playing. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> The, the comments come in so funny that, like, it's missed. Poppy. A lot of you guys are going poppy, so tropical is at. Ooh, one more tropical. <gasps> What's it going to be? Let's wait for one more vote. Somebody vote tropical or poppy. What's it going to be? Although, if you vote tropical, we're back at a halfway point again. Poppy, tropical, poppy, tropical. And then like five comments come in all at once. <laughs> okay, I think we're going with the poppy. Okay, what about poppy or musical? After all, it's almost one o'clock and the little one needs a nap. Poppy, oh, okay, so that, that actually solidified. <gasps> it almost went in the ink pad. Tropical, or I'm sorry, poppy or music? Poppy or music? Now at least, oh, okay, so I need to go with like the last comment that I can see there and go from those votes forward. <laughs> so we have Poppy or Music. Poppy, Poppy, Poppy. Oh, this one's winning. Okay, Music is out. Okay, what about Poppy or, or yes, Poppy or Paris? Poppy or Paris. Which one are we going for with that one? So far, I think we have Poppy is winning. Here's this one up close so you guys can see all that shine. See, and this time my comments are scrolling so nicely. Why can't it do that every day? Poppy or Paris? Ooh, still going poppy. Really? You guys loved the Paris. Okay, fine. Poppy or the girl? Poppy or the girl? You guys are absolutely killing me with your favorites. Like, it's changing so much. Of course, more people are on now that didn't see some of these. Like, this was one of the first ones was the girl. So, are we still loving the girl? Are you guys who started out in the video um are you still on are you still holding strong with me now like 40 minutes later so poppy or the girl otherwise it's going to be poppy versus poppy at the end Ooh, we're half and half poppy and girl it's half and half which one is it going to be it'll be so funny if we end up with the final card being the girl because that was the card that we started with so ooh, poppy ugh, we're half and half again poppy and the girl which one is it somebody new vote i know there's some some people out there that haven't voted yet vote do you want the poppy or the girl i think we have one yeah we're still half and half or at least based on my comments that i can see we're still half and half. Which one is it going to be? This last vote is going to call it. 
Poppy or the girl. Come on, guys. It's okay, fine. Then we're gonna do Poppy, girl, or the other Poppy card. Okay, let's see. How are we gonna distinguish this? This one will be the original Poppy. This one is the girl. And this one we'll call Happy Birthday. So is it Poppy, girl, or birthday? This one is gonna be called birthday since it has the birthday greeting. So Poppy, girl, or birthday? Those are the last three cards um, that are up against each other. And you guys can vote for the number one card in today's daily dose of stamping therapy. I feel like my comments might be like locked or something because I'm not seeing any of you guys commenting and you guys are probably all shouting at your screen. I said the poppy or whatever you might be saying. I'm not sure. <laughs> birthday. Oh, birthday is now popping up. Okay, so is this your guys' number one card? I will say it's probably not my number one card out of all of these. <laughs> so it's interesting to see so many of you guys like different cards than what I like, which is awesome. Super fabulous because that just means that there's a little bit of something out there for everyone. Um, and you can really make it however you would like. Birthday, birthday, birthday. Oh, wow. Okay, so like is this our number one card then? Wow, that is so exciting. So this is the number one card for today's Daily Dose of Stamping Therapy. I'm glad you guys liked it. Um, it is almost one o'clock, so I have to go put the little one down for her nap. And she has been pure joy this morning. I don't think she likes rainy days any more than I do. Um, but I'm keeping it to myself a little bit more than she is. <laughs> uh, I'm wearing this fabulous dress today because she wouldn't let me put on anything else. I tried putting a tank top on underneath it and she absolutely lost it. So here I am wearing a fun, fabulous dress on a Wednesday uh, that I'm staying home and doing absolutely nothing. So um, yeah, it's fun. Off to nap time we go. I hope you guys had a wonderful time playing this. Um, I have plenty more cards that we could play um, pick your favorite card again. So if you guys loved this, the tropical one is still your number one card. Hi, Beth. Welcome. That was this one. So this one, it won a lot. Um, so that was another one of the favorites. But we can do this again if you guys liked it um, to get some ideas, some inspiration. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Stay safe and healthy. Love, hugs, and prayers to all of you guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Tomorrow's Claire's birthday. I might either be like an absolute hot mess of tears or I might just be like hopped up on sugar or something. I don't really know. So we'll see what's, what tomorrow brings. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.